All right, Libra, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast. This is going to be for December 14th through the 20th. My name is Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check the description down below because your sign might very well be different. All right, Libra, so a shift this week. It's been very transformative with the Mars squaring up to Pluto and Uranus energy. And now Venus, uh, your ruler, goes into a much better placement into your sign, your first house, where she's in dignity. And uh, we do have some sextiles this week and easier aspects to work with. So definitely a shifting week, definitely for you Libras. And um, it starts right here at the beginning of the week when we have the sun squaring up to Neptune. So, I mean, up to Jupiter. So this is quite optimistic. Um, usually it is important to keep it nice and grounded, but that optimism could be coming in through organizations, through anything you're involved with, with your ideals, your dreams, and things like that of the 11th house, maybe with friends. So a good early part of the week to work on that constructively, um, specifically around your values, because this whole lunar cycle now of a fucus is about um, your values, maybe even the financial material aspects of life, how you can grow on that, expand on those areas, and some new beginnings perhaps this early part of the week or maybe all week long involving that. So bringing in that healthy dose of optimism and how you can uh, ground and expand upon that uh, earthly side of life, whether it's financial or otherwise. And I think that's a good segue into the week. Now, Mercury does sextile up to Neptune. <clears throat> Uh, this early part of the week too. So it could be easy going specifically around, uh, you know, getting some rest, getting some alone time, Mercury ruling your 12th house, as well as maybe philosophy, nature, connecting to the more expansive avenues of life could be quite enjoyable. And this has been a Mercury that's gone into your third house. I think naturally you have been thinking uh, more about the uh, social or communicative aspects, maybe learning, reading, writing, sharing. A lot of that's going to transform over the weekend, which I'll mention for you. But uh, this early part, definitely easy going with the comms and uh, anything else relating to uh, you know, rest and, and maybe expanding your mind in some sense. So that's the early part of the week. And then here, uh, middle to later part of the week on Thursday, Venus does sextile up to Pluto. So you guys should be feeling quite deep, quite profound, but in a very healthy sense, I would say, with this. And, uh, you know, this is really because Venus, too, is shifting into your first house. So Venus in the first house is that you should be feeling good, looking good. Maybe you're doing your goals, your drives. Maybe you're getting your energy levels moving and all of that can be quite enjoyable. It's been a very uh, deeper spiritual time over the past couple months for you with Venus in that 12th house of yours. So now, you know, the energy slowly starts to uh, unfold where I think uh, there's more of that uh, motivation and drive and maybe even confidence to pursue just the things that are important to you in life and to enjoy life, really, with uh, Venus in your sign. So that's going to be uh, that going into the weekend energy. Then on the weekend, Friday, we do have the sun squaring up to the north node. And so here with this is that it's still a time for you to have that spiritual connection. It's still a time for you to have that alone time. And that's been the north node transiting that 12th. So with this, it's a good time to do that and constructively, you know, how you can bring in maybe some of these uh, insights about what you value in life and maybe even how you can have more of a financial abundance and, and, and integrate it with the importance of rest and relaxation, you know, because they, they seem different, but they're really one and the same. And when you have that, then you can uh, really integrate and ground uh, the things that are meaningful to you while at the same time have faith and trust and, and free yourself, liberate yourself perhaps a little bit uh, in regards to that because you are tying up things now spiritually with the North Node finishing your 12th house and then your North Node does go into your 11th house here at the beginning of 2016 to join up with Jupiter. So um, that's going to be more about uh, groups and all that stuff that's been expanding on that level, your dreams, your hopes, uh, actualizing those and uh, maybe even connecting with friends and networking. So, uh, but for right now, I think definitely getting that alone time, uh, reestablishing your relationship with God, uh, having that uh, spiritual, you know, timeouts and um, all of that can become very constructive if uh, utilized in a nice grounded way uh, going into the weekend. Now on the weekend on Saturday, Venus does try and up to Chiron, which could be quite healing. I think you guys are just feeling quite rejuvenated this week here, um, just in general. And even over the weekend, she's pretty much aspected all week long, aspected well. Now on Saturday, Mercury does join up with Pluto. So there is transformations, like I was saying, involving your communications, involving your mind in many ways, and uh, your spirituality is changing. Uh, Mercury rules your 12th house and your 9th, which are both very spiritual 
uh, you know, outlook and worldview houses. So be open to changing your view, be open to changing your minds in both the practical side of things and the philosophical or spiritual side of things. And because there's things that are unfolding here. So the more open we are to change, then it does become uh, much easier to work with with Pluto. And uh, that square up to Uranus is saying that there's maybe some freedom to be had in the work sector, right? And this has been in this ongoing theme, maybe with work, maybe with your routine, your health, your diet, whatever it might be, to liberate a lot of these energies. So uh, be open to seeing that. Watch going to any extremes too with the work, your routine stuff. But um, there's something calling you there to have more freedom there. And it is a spiritual type of freedom and really changing the way you see things both on a practical and uh, expansive level. All right, Libra, so I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thanks for all of your support, and I'll see you guys all next time. Take care.